So this is our Ford Fusion uh, Hybrid. Uh, it's a research vehicle, a very advanced vehicle that senses the world around it and will help our drivers avoid congestion, help our drivers avoid potential collisions and uh, help ultimately create a safer and a more efficient driving environment. What we wanted was a research platform that lets us push the envelope of what is the technology, both the hardware and software, for our highly automated and autonomous functionality. It is a key technology uh, in the future and we are doing a lot of that development here at Ford. Our partnership with the University of Michigan and State Farm really helps us accelerate the development of this technology. What's different about this car is that it can see what's around it 360 degrees all the time out to a football field in length all around the vehicle. Unlike a driver that can only look at one direction at a time and only concentrate on one thing at a time, this system can look all around the vehicle, have complete situational awareness, understand what's happening, and will be able to react to uh, what's happening around it or inform the driver so the driver can react to what's going on around it. A pulse goes out, it bounces off an object, and then it comes back. And then the time it takes to go out and come back, we can um, measure then the distance from the source to the object. So that's where we use light. Light is much faster than sound. It has much more fidelity. We get much smaller pixel size, so we can get essentially HD type quality imagery off of the LiDAR. And with that, then we can make 3D images or very detailed and accurate maps that look like what you would see in a high-end uh, video game. And we really look at it as an extension of many of the technologies that we've got in our vehicles today. Uh, things like park assistance, things like lane keep assist. With those building blocks in place, they provide us with the fundamental elements to develop highly automated and highly advanced driving features. But at the same time, always keeping the driver in control, always keeping the driver in the loop and ensuring that we've got a fully safe driving environment.